This uninspiring concrete block is the Harlow Welfare Rights and Advice Centre. Its drab exterior disguises just how important it is to many people in Harlow. Inside, a dedicated team of professionals provide free, specialised advice to anyone facing financial difficulties. And in the centre's 30-year history, they have never been so busy. Why then did Harlow's District Council decide to cut the centre's funding by up to 80% in the middle of Britain's worst recession in living memory? I talked to Sue Jones, the Head of Welfare Rights and Advice, who's worked at the centre for over 20 years. Yeah, the council's decision mm -hmm. to cut the funding, I mean, how, how did you feel when you found out about that? Was, was that a, a shock or...? Uh, the scale of it was a shock. Yeah. Uh, the fact that there would need to have been some uh, reduction in funding, we, we knew that because yeah. um, the council had indicated that um, there would need to be some cuts and um, you know that a number of services were likely to be affected. Mm. What was a shock was the scale of it. When the council announced the cuts on the 12th of February 2009 they faced a public backlash. Angry residents mounted a campaign in support of the centre and collected over 7,300 signatures. But the council still did not listen. Three of the centre's clients then issued a legal challenge against the authorities' decision. At the court hearing, um, obviously the council were represented and the clients were represented by um, a barrister appointed by the Public Law Project and uh, the judge upheld the appeal wow. on the grounds that um, the council hadn't had due regard to their statutory equalities duties. The judge ordered the authority to reconsider slashing the centre's budget because it had not given due regard to the impact of the cutback on the most vulnerable and needy members of society. What happened when the decision was taken to uh, the courts quashed the council's original decision, the council um, set up a, a process whereby they reviewed um, their decision and um, carried out an equalities impact assessment uh, which resulted in a recommendation to increase the budget by £70,000 a year or just over £70,000 a year. The council must now put the contract for the centre out to tender. However, the amount of outside funding they can hope to get depends on how much they get from the council. And in these tough economic times, Sue and her colleagues are not getting their hopes up. So, um, the future's uncertain? Correct. <laughs> yeah. yeah.